Yo, what's up? This you got TLP23 back with another video. Shoot the light, shoot the sub, you know. So, what I'm going to get into today, you feel me? We just going to talk about the WWE. Like, I, I'm going to go on a little rant. I'm going to go ahead and let you know that up front. It's just a little rant, you know. I don't fucking understand how come, you know, people... How do people still like this shit in this day and age, bruh? It's not even about, you know, you lame, you know... What like okay, people like different shit. It's that simple. But at the same time, bro, WWE is not shit. Wrestling, period, to me is not shit, bro. I don't looked at all the different promotions. I don't look at New Japan. Don't looked at my fucking next. You know NXT, whatever you want to call that shit. Um, I don't looked at my fucking Ring of Honor. If it's still called that, I don't looked at TNA. I looked at some, like, a lot of fucking shit, bruh. And I just don't fucking understand it. You can't, like, to me, what we're going to talk about is, I don't understand how this fucking, like, this profession cannot last in this day and age of society. It just can't. Because my personal opinion is, this shit should be edgy as fuck. Wrestling should be something that's on the edge at all times. It shouldn't be something that's, like, you know, walking in line, walking in the groove of society. Like, okay, y'all want to tiptoe around shit because this is supposed to be, you know, this is supposed to be viewed by children or, you know, someone who's up under 18, whatever you want to say. But at the same time, bro, it's not meant for this profession. Like, wrestling to me, WWE should not be PG, first of all. Like, imagine trying to, like, I'll put it to you this way. Imagine trying to market UFC but to children. Imagine trying to market some type of like okay, at the same time you can say, okay, well that's real fighting, that's real, you know, people are actually getting hit. This is brutal. But I'm just using that as an example. You can't market some type of okay, no matter how you want to look at it, fighting is violence. Now whether you feel like maybe that's a good thing or a bad thing, you know, that's your decision. But Fighting is a form of violence. It's some type of violence because it's something that's not supposed to, you know, it's something that's not supposed to be done unless you're in danger, unless you're in harm, unless you're fear for your life or anything like that. But you cannot mark. So how are you going to market fighting as a PG, you know, as something that's supposed to be PG? That's strike one right there. And I never understood that when it changed over to that. But hey, people got to make money. Vince got to make all the money. He got to walk in. You know, he want to walk in line with the promoters. He, You know, he going to do what he do. He trying to get this cash. But you don't market something like this as a PG uh, show. It'd be, excuse me. It'd be like trying to, mar like for another example, it'd be like trying to mark one of these rated R shows or, you know, rated MA shows that's on stars or something like that. As a PG show, it just wouldn't work. You have to understand that the content of the show is what makes the show. Like, it's pretty simple. It's layman terms. The content of the show and the content of the characters is what makes the show goes. That's in any type of, you know, any type of t TV network, TV television, you know, television, whatever. Like, you just can't do it. You have to know the content of your characters. You have to know the content that you're providing to the world, that you're showing to the world, and that you're marketing. But they, you know, anyway, so why the fuck are we even talking? You know, why are we even listening and, you know, looking at this shit? How are the people still looking at this shit? It's stupid. It's not even that, okay, well, 10 people agree with this decision. 100 people don't. Or it's not that a hundred people agree with this decision and team people don't, you know, because this was shit, this shit was going around, you know, back in the day or whatever, like it, let's just keep a spade a spade. It was going like, it was like this back in the days. Everybody didn't agree with every decision that WWE made because people like different wrestlers. So to sit there and say, Oh, well, smarts this and that smart this smart that you know hey fuck them there are real smarts but at the same time you have to understand that people don't feel how you feel 
Like, okay, you like Seth Rollins, you like all this sh- cringy bullshit. Okay, cool. I'm not going to knock you, but I don't fuck with the shit. I can't fuck with it. I don't co-sign it because it's not, it, it doesn't make any sense to me. Like, how am I supposed to be, how am I supposed to believe that a guy that's my size or whatever, you know, someone like Seth Rollins or some shit like that, bro. Like, okay, he about to, he just beating down beast. He beating down kings. Like, someone like Brock Lesnar, Bobby Lashley, anything like that, bro, from the jump, bro, that shit a no-go. It's all, like, you're done. It's done. I'm checking out. I'm tuning out. There's no change in the channel or none of that, bro, because I'm not even looking at it. Once I see that storyline, that first night, that storyline develop, you know, whatever. Bro, I'm not watching it. It's There's no point in watching this shit. How am I supposed to take it serious? How am I supposed to believe this shit? The only way people would, the only way a certain demographic of people would be able to take that shit serious is if they like the wrestler. And that's what it come down to. But that's not a market. Like, what, okay, so you're going to, it's just like with the Kofi shit. What the fuck was the point of that? I'm a black dude. What the I bro, I ain't want Kofi to win that shit. It was stupid. If you ask me, we should have been had like long ass time ago, bro. We should have had a WWE champion, my guy. It should have been Booker T. It should have been Shelton Benjamin. Like, bro, those are people that was actually worthy of being a fucking WWE champ. Not this fucking scrawny ass nigga with some dreads and fucking bird chest, my guy. It's so fucking bullshit. But hey, that's history. We can't do nothing to change it. All we can do is look at what's going on right now. And, I mean, even the Kofi shit is history. You know, it's recent history, but it's still history. Like, all we can do is move forward. But you waited too long to do that shit. I don't know who's, you know, okay, Vince, whatever, you know, that's the person who signed off on the shit, da-da-da. But you should have been did that shit. You should have been made a black person WWE champion. And it should have been somebody that was worthy. Like, you know, and first of all, excuse me, Mark Henry would have been a good WWE champion. Bobby Lashley would have been a good WWE champion with the right uh, gimmick. You know, I understand how people find him bland. People find him disinterested whatever. Because I'm one of those people. But back in the day when Bobby Lashley was just running through motherfuckers on his first stint in the WWE. Oh, yeah. I could have definitely co-signed on this guy being WWE champion because he was like, I don't know what it was because we had seen, you know, we had seen muscle those dudes before. We had seen motherfuckers that was supposed to be steamrollers in the business before. But that first stint, oh, yeah, he had the juice. He he could have done it. I feel like he could have been a he could have been a WWE champion. He could have had a nice little decent reign and it would have been no problems. East, they still won't give him one. Like, even right now, it's 2020. They still will not give him one. Even though I can understand why they won't give him one now. Like, his credibility his credibility is kind of shot. But I understand that, you know, the guy's just bland, bro. There's nothing really else to say about that. Anyway. You got Brock. You keep making him the champion. You was making him the champion over and over and over. Then you having him lose it to Seth Rollins and bullshit like that. Like, bro, fuck you. Fuck you, WWE. You don't have Brock Lesnar lose to Seth Rollins. I don't care the circumstances. I don't care what's going on. I don't care if this nigga grab a chair and hit this motherfucker 10 times, bro. You do not have Brock Lesnar lose to Seth Rollins. These are bad business decisions. But you're trying to cater to the you're trying to cater to the PG. You're trying to cater to the people that like Seth Rollins. You're trying to sell merch. You're trying to make money. You're trying to make you know you're trying to make this business something that is really not. And so, I mean, hey, at the end of the day, what are we supposed to do? You can either you got two choices. You continue to watch this shit and complain, or you can turn it off. And that's I I chose option two. I I, mean, I don't even look at wrestling anymore. I really don't. Hey, look at the wrestling about over a year. Second, you know, second thing is, look at the NXT, bro. I looked at the shit. 
I thought it was kind of nice. If you know, I ain't gonna say it first. Well, I am gonna say it first, but I don't mean it first when it you know when it started. I mean it first when I started watching it from where I picked up at. And so, all right, I was watching the takeover games and all that bullshit like that. I was just like, okay, this shit kind of decent, but I ain't really you know I ain't really fuck with this shit. Like it was decent. It was kind of I found it kind of decent, but. At a certain point in time, I was just like, oh, yeah, I can't fuck with this shit no more. And it wasn't because people that I like was losing or anything like that. It was just because the shit wasn't interesting. It was it, it, doesn't, it didn't have anything to draw me in anymore. Like, how many fucking times can you see? How many takeover takeovers can you see before you just like, OK, fuck this shit? Like, I will look at the Wednesday night shit on uh, the network and all that. I just like, bruh. I look at maybe one or two shows, you know, I I would literally have my TV on at eight, nine, whatever the fuck time it was. And I would watch that shit from front page to back, from beginning to end. And like, it just wasn't, it didn't have anything to keep me to stay there. Like, okay, you have two good shows, then you have, the rest of them are bad. Like, what the fuck is that? How am I supposed to keep giving? How am I supposed to keep watching this shit and giving the network my money? Like, bro, you ain't giving me a reason to pay for this shit. I'm gonna pay for other shit. It's straight like that. But anyway, like I remember the Undisputed Era. I was kind of, you know, kind of digging them for a little bit. And I just had to back away because I was like, bro, may, like maybe I'm tripping because the like there's really nothing special about these dudes, but like the the program like the tv show you know nxt they try to brainwash you into thinking that okay these guys are you know they top notch they this they that but you have to think about some life goes on after next careers go on after next or I me mean, after nxt whatever like what are these guys really going to be on the main roster you're not going to be anything so you can't get caught up in the hype of somebody that, you know you can't get caught up in the hype that someone has while they down in nxt because like you realize that this is not this is not the peak. WWE is the you know uh, excuse me. Raw is the peak. SmackDown is the peak. The main roster is the peak. It's not this. This is a stepping stone. It just be like somebody going from you know being a rapper or somewhere in their hometown or whatever, and they you know they up in the air. They feeling they sell. They all this and that. They got fans, groupies, and shit like that. But then hey. Put yourself with the big fish and see what the fuck happened. That's when it come down, you know, that's what it come down to. That's what matter. Well, you with the big fish and you can do something, then you work, you know, you worth it. You got talent. You know what you're doing. You good. You Gucci. But all these motherfuckers getting brought up, all these people done got brought up and it's just like, okay, y'all are saying, oh, well, they throwing to the wayside, this and that, or they booking wrong and this and that. But it's like, damn, bro. It's a whole different demographic. You can't fucking cater to people that was in in it that was fans of NXT where you're running a show of SmackDown and Raw. You can't. It's not the same type of people. And so that's when I like that's when I realized, you know, I gotta back away. I can't watch any type of wrestling anymore. I watch Raw, watch SmackDown. I had watched the WrestleMania. I had watched a few WrestleManias from back in the day, like starting from like 20 and up um and i also watched the recent wrestlemanias and so which you know and i watched them live like i think the last two years i had watched the wrestlemanias live and that was the only wrestling i had looked at for the whole year just wrestlemania i was like bro what am i looking at this shit entirely too long and y'all trying to y'all trying to stunt like this shit is a fucking like like okay y'all all make money at the end of the day but this shit is not something that people need to be looking at for eight hours fucking straight bro y'all ain't that y'all good but y'all ain't that damn good that y'all about to have somebody hold interest and hold any type of form of you know celebration for what the fuck y'all doing not for no eight hours like, it, like, let's be for real. People catch a match here and there. Like, they'll turn on WrestleMania and they'll catch a match here and there. Or they have selected matches that they want to look at and all that. It's just like, bro, that's what we all going to do. 
Because we don't care about this shit. I want to have a fucking WrestleMania. I want to have a fucking show. You know what? Damn all the fucking shows. I want to have pay-per-views where I care about every single match on that fucking card. I want to have a pay-per-view where every fucking match I'm tuned in, bro. I ain't going nowhere. Like, I'm going to be, like, I'm going to get all my shit together, like, snacks and all that shit, drinking all that, smoke, whatever. I'm going to get all that shit in before I sit my, sit my fucking ass down and watch this show because I know I ain't going to want to move. I ain't going to want to miss a second of this. That's how the fucking WWE should be. It is just not. It's just not. Anyway, y'all hitting the motherfucker up. You know, subscribe. Fucking leave a like, comment. Do whatever you want to do. I'll be back at it with another video. Peace.